coping with the loss of a teammate. As the SUNY Geneseo hockey team prepares to compete in the Frozen Four tournament, they're also remembering one of their own. Kelsey Anisi and Matthew Hutchinson were in bed when Colin Kingston entered an off-campus home and stabbed them to death. Kingston then took his own life. Hutchinson was a hockey player at SUNY Geneseo, and News 4's Dave Graber traveled there today and spoke with the team about their friend and their teammate. Matthew Hutchinson, or Hutch as he was known around campus, excelled on this ice for the Geneseo Knights. It wasn't until his life was cut short in a violent double murder suicide in January. And though Hutch is no longer physically a part of this team, his spirit has certainly guided the Knights to what has been a miraculous season. We've banded together and played a good brand of hockey right now. Faced with sudden tragedy, the Geneseo Knights had little choice. Senior Matthew Hutchinson was killed in mid-January by Colin Kingston. Police say a jealous Kingston broke into his ex-girlfriend's house and killed her and Hutchinson and then turned the knife on himself. It was horrific news for the team to start their spring semester. It's been a story where we go from tragedy to triumph and we've really taken all this uh, negativity and all this sadness and really made, uh, made good out of it. There's no manual for it and we just kind of had to figure out a way to get these guys going in the right direction. Head coach Chris Schultz has been forced to figure out how to approach a group of young men looking to him for answers. Every day we've walked into this room since the day after the, the event, our guys have been all in. And um, I can't say enough about how our guys have honored his, his memory. They've kept his locker the same as he left it, jersey and skates and stick. They've added things as well, like the Suniac Trophy and a journal so players can leave notes for their fallen teammate. Players and coaches, even the community, have drawn on each other's strengths mostly because they had little other choice. It's been a long two months, but I know if it wasn't for my players, I don't know what I'd be doing. I drew on their strength. There was a lot of acting involved with me, and I, I'd like to think that they, they drew upon our strength, and uh, we just we, we relied on each other for the last two months. The Knights will depart from Geneseo on Wednesday en route to Lake Placid for the Division Three Frozen Four. And as it's been all season, Hutch's presence will be with this team, players and coaches, throughout the postseason. Reporting from the campus of SUNY Geneseo, Dave Graber, News 4.